Hey everyone, Kevin here, the Toy Smuggler, and today we're trying a little different uh, angle here so everyone can really get an up close and personal look at what I'm doing here. And uh, try another little light here. All right, th these are the two R2D2s, and this is well, this is the first one. This is the regular R2, the uh, 78 version, without sensor scope. And like I said, I'm not going to do anything to these domes. We're going to put a sticker on here. And I was going to show you the process on putting it back together. All right, here is my sticker sheet. There's all the different uh, R2s and R5D4s. Uh, we're going to need two of them today. Like I said, I'm trying to get this best as I can on camera, but it's a... Uh, a little bit different uh, cutting like this behind the camera. I'd say this is the first time I ever used a camera like this. So bear with me. We're trying something new. Get, get these straighter cuts first. The ARC 2 stickers and R5s, uh, they got a slight curve to them. Because if you put a straight line sticker on something that's curved, uh, it will go out of lines. So it just will... It's not straight. It may appear straight, but it's, but it's technically not. I see one little spot that I missed here. There we go. All right, the hardest two cuts are these loop cuts. The center ones are the worst one. Let's get in here. That's something I've noticed in the last uh, few weeks uh, working on different projects. Uh, I'm gonna have to get an upgrade on scissors. I tell you what, there's cutting stickers or and really any kind of paper product. You need a special, high-quality pair of scissors that's just for paper. And unfortunately, the scissors I got, they're not the greatest pair. And on top of that, unfortunately, I just use them to cut anything and everything. So, all right, almost got it here. All right, there we go. Got it cut out. And it's usually best to try out a pair of tweezers here. Sometimes my fingernail might work. Let's see here. Let's see what it's going to do. There we go. Get it started. All right, once you get a hold of it like that, it's, it's easy after that. Okay. And where you want to start is, is right here, dead center. You get this part lined up, and the rest of it goes just right. And that's, unfortunately, that is the really the hardest spot. And, I, and I've never done this on camera like this, so please bear with me. Try to go nice and easy here. I hope you can see it well. I want you barely get it on. Good. And you want to pull this good and tight because you don't want any wrinkles and that meets all the way over not one wrinkle and there you go ladies and gentlemen look at that nice that right there just by doing that right there really changed the whole aesthetic of the whole piece now we got to go back to assembly. You take the old screw, and I'm you always trying to use original screws. Like I said, this one, I got all it's still pretty kind of dark looking, but I got all the roughness off of it. And these are, like I said, real simple to put back together. And you want to start with your legs. Put those in. And then your neck piece, and this is the original neck piece 
Like I said, we noticed that the neck piece for the uh, sensor scope is slightly made different. I can show you that real quick while I have everything here, here together. See how they're designed slightly different? And that one's designed like this to, so it's got room to go around that sensor scope when it's in the down position. So, then you just gently, like I said, always be careful with these pieces. They're very, very fragile. All right, there's that. And then we take our dome, like I said, the dome. Gently put that in there. There we go. And just hold that head. And you do not want to over force this. Just take your time. And you just want it snug. And the biggest thing is if you hold the head and the, the torso tightly together when you snug it, it should be fine. There we go. Nice little tug. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that. Very nice looking. Like I said, he's got a little battle damage, but that's that's how you look at some of these old scuffs. I mean it's a you can tell where a kid has played with it. And this is what these toys were made to do back in the day. So I have to say this was a great success. And let's move on to the other one. Alright, here we are. We are getting ready to do the uh, sensor scope. And like I said, the chrome on this one, as you can see, came out really nice. But uh, there's a little wear on this aqua green. It's like a, like almost like a translucent metallic color i'm not going to touch that up just yet because i'm going to have to order that color i got some blues and stuff but not this metallic uh feel so i'm having to order that so we're going to just put that part of this process on hold i may show you that at a later date but right now we're just going to get on putting this sticker on Let's see here there we go got that part get the tweezers here Said so start from the center just like we did the other one. And try this a little bit different, holding it here a little bit different. Like I said this is a little awkward being behind a camera like this. There we go. So far, so good. Alright. Now let's take this over here. There we go. Nice and smooth. No dust on anything. No wrinkles. Went on just as smooth as the first one. It's looking really nice. Alright, and we just assemble it the exact same way. Let's uh, slide the legs on. And like th this little uh, marker here never could get this fluorescent pen mark off. This could not do it. Uh, I'm going to have to do some research to see if I can find some other kind of chemical to get that off. Uh, but just for right now, it's, it's, even, it's not going to be a big deal. Once I find something, just be a quick little rub. All right, now we're getting ready to assemble this head. There we go. Right, let's get the screw. We learned it a little bit easier to go uh, vertical. Going up. Now this one, you can look at this screw. This screw turned out really nice. Good and clean. It looks spanking brand new. And once again, this I remember when I took this off, it was really stiff. Ugh. But like I also said, uh, the screws on these were crazily different from the one on my original one. And it clicks just fine. Alright, there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. Sensor scope R2-D2. Let's pull the sensor scope out. Just took a little playing with. And 
And there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Now this is ready to go back in my collection. And uh, like I said, I'm very excited on how well both of these turned out. I'm going to be taking some pictures of it to uh, prove over the, uh, show it to you, some better close-ups as I'm talking here. That way you can see just how well the stickers and the, and the, the dome turns out. Like I said, the dome on this one's very nice. And what is funny is, with the, the little scuff that's on the sensor scope, You'd think there'd be some scuffs right here on the dome, but honestly, the what uh, damage it has come on it, it actually just done it while it's on the up position. So I'm actually just going to leave it about like that right there. And ladies and gentlemen, that concludes this part of assembling our tooth back together.